my dear students, welcome to our class on uh, crop coefficient Kc. The definition of crop coefficient Kc is the ratio of evapotranspiration observed for the crop studied observed for the crop studied over that observed for well calibrated reference crop under the same conditions. This is the definition. Now, the influence of the crop is expressed in the crop coefficient. The influence of crop on evaporation from the soil, transpiration from the crop together, okay? It is expressed by the crop in the crop coefficient. The crop water use can be determined by multiplying the the crop water requirement is determined by multiplying the ETO into Kc. So, ETO into Kc is equal to ETC. Okay, the water requirement of the crop. Okay, now, see, very interesting thing is, there are different methods for uh, calculating the uh, crop coefficient. Different methods are there. Usually, usually, and usually. Simple water balance techniques you are using across the globe, even FAO had given not for uh, such uh, crop coefficient values. Now, the method uses base basal crop coefficient. The method uses basal crop coefficient, that is a crop coefficient calculated from a crop that is not stressed and has no surface wetting. So that is the basis. Now, therefore, uh, that in theory, in reality, differs a lot from the theory. Therefore, in theory, the KCB, crop coefficient of basal or basal crop coefficient, is uh, transferable to from one location to other. This is the wonderful, this is the question that you get in your all exam, midterm, final exam, JRF, SRF, next. This will be KC values, okay? Especially basal KC values are transferable to, okay? Uh, from location to location. Now, so what is the KC curve, crop coefficient curve? See, the crop coefficient curve, this is the schematic representation of KC. Now, well, this is the crop coefficient 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1, 1.2. Now, in, during the initial phase of the crop growth, 20%, okay, 20% is contributed, okay, by the uh, both evaporation and transpiration, 20%. Now, during the rapid, 50%. During the mid season, 75%. From here, after the crop uh, had physiologically matured, 100%. So, late season. The schematic representation of KC values 20%, 50%, 75%, 100%. So, this is the crop portion. Now, the, here, the KC curve, this is the KC curve, it is, a, it is a free, it is a smooth continuous function, it is a smooth continuous function uh, for irrigation scheduling purposes, daily values of crop ETO can be estimated from the crop coefficient, from the crop coefficient ETO can be estimated, ETO into KC is equal to ETC, crop water requirement, now what is the real concept of EC? What is the real concept of a crop coefficient? The KC is the crop coefficient for a given crop and is usually determined experimentally. It is, a, it is a usually determined experimentally, KC values. The KC values represent the integrated effects of several things, for example, leaf area index, plant height, crop characteristics, irrigation method, rate of uh, crop development, crop planting date, degree of canopy cover, canopy resistance, soil and uh, climatic conditions and management practices. Okay, each crop will have a set of uh, specific crop coefficients, uh, specific set of crop coefficients. What are those? Uh, initial, rapid, mid season and late season. So, Okay, so the length of uh, each of these stages, the length of uh, each of these stages uh, depends on climate, latitude, elevation, planting date, crop type and cultural practices. Okay, now local field observations are best for determining the growth stage of the crop and uh, adjust the 
empirical case values accordingly. The best thing is local observations also you can take, you can incorporate in the arriving at the KC values for which state? See 0.4 or 0.2 and 0.4 in between what exactly is the value. Now see uh, what are the uses of crop coefficients? The influence of crop is expressed in uh, KC. Therefore KC has uh, a representative crop factor in water used by the crop. The effect of uh, both uh, crop transpiration and soil evaporation are represented into the single crop coefficients. So therefore, the best tool for irrigation scheduling, how much water you are going to give for the crop can be determined by crop coefficient. So this is what I would like to say. Here, uh, as a agrometrologist, uh, we should know one thing, why I am telling you is this one. See, 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 it's very interesting. Always I told, why the agrometrologist should believe, should K, C. Okay, otherwise ETC, uh, ETC, okay, this is the ETC, uh, I would like to just write you know, this way, uh, ETC, for example, ETC, ETC is equal to ETO into crop coefficient. So, this has got a very good influence on the determination of the crop water requirement. Thank you very much. May God bless you.